Lusaka was bestowed with the status of capital city in 1935, first of northern Rhodesia and at independence it was conferred the status of a city by royal charter in 1960. The capital city was moved from Livingston to Lusaka because of the latter's town's centrality. Little was known about Lusaka, who is said to be an elephant hunter. Lusaka is buried around Manda Hill, that's the name Manda, which in most Zambian languages means grave. When the Northern Copper Company failed to find minerals in the area, they sold the vast areas they had allocated as farms to ex-railway men, transport drivers, and quarry men. Most of these white men were Africanus, whose names still persist today. The first building was a store owned by Benjamin Glasser, built in 1908. The store stocked groceries needed by the growing white community mostly engaged in farming. Later in 1912, there was a hotel, several stores, a school, and three maize mills to grind milli meal, largely consumed by black people. A white settler, Mr. Percy Morton, purchased the first motor vehicle in 1917. Zambia being a former British colony, with Lusaka as the capital city, has meant close links with Britain and the monarch. In 1957, Lusaka experienced the building of a new post office, railway station, police station, and the Anglican Cathedral. More radical economic changes saw the building of structures like the Mulungushi Conference Center. Though the major early commercial activity was farming, lime burning was also established by Giovanni B. Marapodi, an Italian who had been a contractor on the railway. Much prestigious development can be found in the eastern part of Lusaka along Great East Road. These include Mandahill Shopping Center, Mulungushi International Conference Center, the National Assembly Building, and the Mulungushi Village. Other buildings of national importance include the University of Zambia. Lusaka has about nine heritage sites, among them the old post office along Freedom Way, Katondo Junction, which was the first post office in Lusaka built in 1933. The famous Kawata Roundovos along Bama Road are remnants of a total of 500 such houses built in the late 1930 and early 1940s. They were replaced by 483 medium high-rise flats and 723 houses. The Kawata Roundovos represent the colonial mentality of what African accommodation ought to have been. They were built in sets of four, with four doors opening into the central place to reproduce the village setting in town. They have now been renamed as Kawata Cultural Association and used for residences and workshops for Zambian crafts. Other significant heritage sites include the Ali Mamey Cemetery in Rhodes Park on Lagos Road. The cemetery, named in honor of Dr. Ali Mamey, a British South African company's medical officer who worked in Rhodesia in 1908 has names dating back to 1922. Marapodi House along Didan Kimati Road near the intercity bus terminus is included among Lusaka's heritage sites. Apart from the old Freedom House, the other heritage site linked to the struggle for independence is the Matero House. To commemorate the development of Lusaka, that started as a one-horse town to a bustling city. A group of Lusaka residents who are aware of Lusaka turning 100 years has formed itself into an organization called Lusaka 100 Years. The Lusaka mayor, Mr. Daniel Chisanga, recently received an award nominating Lusaka as a world capital of families in 2013.